So people approach me, they want to know the different types of franchises because they're interested in possibly owning a franchise while they're employed. And I share with them, franchise models come in three different buckets. First bucket I call owner-operator models. You are the business. It's the man in the van model in many cases. Your plumber decides to jump ship from a plumbing company and buy a rotor router and he wants to go out and service customers all day. And he's happy, doesn't care to build an enterprise, and there's no problem with that. There are plenty of options in that category. On the other end of the spectrum are models I call executive models. And I call them that because these are the types of models that executives want to own because they're not going to leave their career to own the franchise. They're going to continue doing what they're doing. This is purely an investment strategy for diversification of their portfolio. Where most franchises exist is this middle bucket. This middle bucket, semi-passive ownership. You are involved day to day. Initially, you'll be heavily involved in the business. You're the leader. Your staff looks to you for direction, but you're loving what you're doing. You want to be involved. You're someone who doesn't feel comfortable setting it and forgetting it. But as the business matures and grows, you can come in late, you can leave early, you can go on vacation, and the business will still be operating. I think that's the desire of most business owners in and out of franchising, is that you have a business that's not dependent upon you being there. Otherwise, you bought yourself a job, and if that wasn't your intention, you're gonna wind up being miserable.